so I'm going to show you how to do a drop stitch. Um, and I think it's kind of cool. It's look at it, look, it just gives it a little extra something. Um, and it's super easy and you can make a bunch of stuff. I made a cowl with like a thick chunky yarn, um, in a drop stitch, or you can do scarves. This is a baby blanket I'm working on. And hopefully by next week, I'll have the pattern up on the blog so you can see how to make a whole blanket. But to do the stitch itself, um, I started by knitting, just straight knitting four rows back and forth, knit, knit, knit. Um, and then um, I'll show you how to do the drop stitch. And I made a border, so I just knit um, my stitches right here, just straight down. So this is where I'm gonna start my stitch. And I will start by knitting two. And then you just take your yarn and you wrap it around your needle twice. And then you knit two more. And then you wrap your yarn twice and knit two more. And you just keep doing this all the way down until you get to the end, or like me, if you have a border, until you get to the last stitches that make up your border, and then you'll just knit them. Um, so you just do this across the body of the whole thing. One row, wrapping and knitting across. Like that. Okay, so I knit my last row. I did the knit two stitches and then wrap two around the needle and I went all the way across. And then um, on this next row, we just go through and all the stitches we just knit, we knit again. Like that. And all the wrapped stitches, see they're just kind of on there with nothing, no knitting or anything. We just slide them right off. So we knit two and then we drop the wrap stitches that's why this is called the drop stitch so you got this kind of thing right there so you knit two and then slide these two wrap stitches off knit and then drop two and you go all the way across this next row ah if your yarn doesn't get stuck you go all the way across this next row knitting two and dropping two until you get to the end and that's it and then you can go on to the next row you would just knit four more and then start over again by knitting two wrapping two and then doing your dropped and if you look you can see see all these where the stitches were dropped they're longer and it makes this cute little pattern so um so yeah, you just do the drop stitch and then you go through and you knit some more, four more rows, and then you can do another set of drop stitch. And um, you can make a blanket or whatever else you wanna make. I'm actually working on this blanket pattern. So hopefully I'll have this up on the blog by next week or however long it takes me to finish this blanket. As soon as it's done, I will put it up there. So good luck.